Hi, my name is Michelle Avison and I run Slaughterhouse Print Studio. The studio is set up for uh, all processes really. We've got etching facilities uh, that we can do lithography and we have a relief press for woodcut and lino processes. Um, I'll just show you around the studio and uh, show you the equipment we've got here. So um, our etching press is uh, uh, good up to a, a, a sheet of imperial paper at 76 by 56, so a standard sheet of imperial paper. Um, so it's not the biggest press, but it's, uh, it's, it's really good up to that size and possibly just a little bit larger. The press actually uh, came from the Bank of England, so that's a, a nice, uh, nice bit of history there. Uh, lots of jokes about bank. Uh, notes, uh, but unfortunately it didn't come with any plates. But it was used for proofing the uh, the plates at the Bank of England, the uh, first engravings of the banknotes. Really nice etching press for um, intaglio processes, for etching, for dry point, uh, for colour graph, uh, all of those sorts of things. Um, over here then, as we uh, come into the studio, this area here is for uh, clean paper preparation and uh, we've got uh, plenty of drying uh, facilities there. And then over in the middle of the studio, we've got uh, uh, big workbenches for uh, working and preparing uh, uh, plates and uh, printing. And then uh, dirty area, uh, plate preparation and keeping, uh, keeping sort of the dirty jobs over to the side there in this area. Um, coming to the back of the studio, the, we've got here um, our direct litho press um, for uh, litho stones, it can also be used for litho plates and then just at this side um, our Albion press, so uh, really nice sized Albion press. As I said before the benches are set up in the studio so that there's a good workspace uh, adjacent to each press. So the um, Albion press here is laid out in such a way that there's a sort of adjacent space so ergonomically that sort of works quite well or that one can work at this bench and come to the press there. Similarly in this corner um, the same thing happens, the bench is adjacent to the press so works really well in that respect. I've uh, got a small uh, um, acid room uh, and, uh, and sinks in the corner be, uh, behind. It isn't a large space, it's, uh, it's a perfectly a good sized space but it's not huge and therefore there are always a, a small number of people working here in the studio. Um, and we're trying to build a, a community of artists and printmakers who, 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 ha who share a love of the processes involved and share a love of, uh, of working in printmaking and hopefully who can benefit from working uh, alongside each other. So it's a very um, sharing uh, atmosphere and uh, we're building up um, uh, uh, confidence in talking about work and, uh, and sharing work. Slaughterhouse has been a, a great place for me to come and sort of develop my work. And uh, it's, it's, it's great to have somewhere where you can actually look at the work, review it, reflect, and able to expand and experiment. This is very rare in other studios, but stu um, Slaughterhouse um, allows me this sort of freedom to uh, develop those ideas which are not otherwise possible in other areas. Naturally, uh, you, probably everybody will say this, that working in a studio like Slaughterhouse, you're working with other printmakers and there's a very nice feeling of community. You can bounce ideas, you can ask people their opinions, uh, people will help you. Michelle's on hand for, for help. Um, and uh, everybody kind of moves around each other in a balletic way. It's never too crowded. We, are, we would only have a maximum of five people here at any time, so it's, a, it's perfect. Uh, the layout of the studio is really good. Um, obviously, it's been designed by printmakers, so they know, you know, Michelle knows where, where to put what and where you need to move in order to, to, to perform certain tasks. The reason that I love coming to Slaughterhouse is because there's always plenty of room to work. It's a really good space to concentrate and to really focus in on producing work. There's space here for you to think 
about what you're doing whilst you're doing it. Um, and often in a very busy studio, that's not so possible. Also, the other people that come here are also inspiring artists in their own rights. And so it's good to have that group dynamic and to chat and talk over uh, where you are in your own work and also get inspiration from others that come. Later on in the year, I'm planning a, a project, a, a, a joint project where uh, members and invited artists will uh, uh, make a piece of work which will be either collected together into a portfolio or box set of some sort. And we plan to have an annual, um, an annual volume of that sort, which uh, the studio uh, will start to produce, uh, hopefully sell uh, and exhibit.